What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Victoria Venon, and I am here with Mike from the legendary Suicidal Tendencies. How are you doing today? Doing very good, very good. So, Mike, you've, been, you've um, been on tour, you've performed with Danzig before. What's it like be sharing the stage with another legend like him? Well, we actually, the, the first time we toured with them was with Metallica. We did a tour together in 1994. And it's funny because after that tour in 94, uh, a couple weeks ago, we just opened up for Metallica at the football stadium in Arizona. And then two weeks later, we're playing with Danzig again. That's the first time in 30 something years that we played, both of us play together again. So that's a lot of fun, yeah. Awesome. And is there any, can the fans expect any new suicidal tendencies music to come out? Yeah, we, um, I think we go about it differently than a lot of people, mm -hmm. uh, especially I think when the COVID happened, um, you realize, as my dad would call it, he called it the panicking people. <laughs> and uh, you, you don't do things because you're panicking, you do things because of something you feel in your heart. Exactly. And so like when that happened, you know, you realize these people, oh, we're, gonna, we're recording all these songs, we're doing this, ain't got nothing else to do. And I go, that's not what music's about. It's not about, you got nothing better to do. I got a lot of things, but you should have things better. And if you don't, then you better spend some time trying to figure out what you need to be doing. So, um, but there's there's a lot of music that I've always we've always recorded that that we love that means stuff to us. And then uh, there's stuff you realize that like uh, like I go back to the first record. One of my best friends said he goes, "Man, Mike, you know it's like." Listen to radio, you can do that. What you're doing ain't music. And I go, I don't like what's on the radio, so I don't want to do that. I just want to do my thing, whether people like it or not. He goes, you don't think people like it? I go, I don't care if people like it. It's what I want to do. And so I think, you know, right now we've um, been recording a lot of stuff and uh, completely different and to the point where I go, yeah, people won't like this, so it's probably what I should do. Awesome. I totally agree with you. Go at your own place, pace, go with the yeah. flow. And so you just got off the stage after performing your sold out show with Danzig. How do you feel? Well, my son came up with the best line. So I got, uh, I, I got my daughter, my first daughter, but I got three sons. And uh, they were talking before the trip and they go, man, there's a lot of fake blood out there. And he goes, you're the first one with real blood. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. A true <laughs> rock star. Yeah, so I was like, okay, yeah, that was cool. My, my favorite quote, it was from the, I believe, War Inside My Head music video. And it's when you said, um, when people tell me I can't do it, oh, you're telling me I can't do it? Maybe I can, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. That's the thing, I think, um, too many I live people, by I live by that. Quote. Too many people uh, excuses is the foundation of their life, and and that's scary. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. you're building a sky ri uh, heiser, riser. The first thing they do is dig down. And you go well, then you got to build it further. It's like, but it's the foundation. It's what yeah. you don't see. You know, it's like exactly. the plant. It's the roots. Mm -hmm. It's what you don't see. And I think too many people get into what they don't see, and they feel like oh, people don't see it. Blah, 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 every moment. But it's like anything you do any journey you don't see it in that moment yeah. you know you see it afterwards Definitely. and stuff and and there's a thing there's you know regardless of what people are, there's no time machine people have to argue that point but there ain't no time machine you can't get it back yeah. so at any particular moment too many people go like oh, i wish i could go back now you're right here right now and if yeah. you can say i wish i could go back that means you know what time is exactly. and so you have the chance to take it from that step forward and uh you, you have to be in a point where you just sit there and say you can accept excuses, there's millions of excuses. You walk out there or you sit there and go, you know what, I'm gonna fight a little harder. Yeah. And it also goes the other way, my dad's here tonight, but he used to always say, you see someone and they, boom, and they go against yeah. the wall and they're charging against the wall <laughs> and they're praying, you go, man, I give them a lot of respect. But homie, just go through the door. <laughs> so it's like, you gotta, you gotta not be uh, uh, um, lazy about it, but you have to be able to sit there and be smart, exactly. take, your, take your battles, do them for the right reason, not because you're afraid of what's going to happen, but it's because it's important and something. There's going to be a moment where, as my dad used to say, one day you're going to be in a wheelchair and you'll be, you won't be able to do things. And you'll sit back and go, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have tried that. I wish I would have done this better. Mm -hmm. So give it your best fight, you know? Exactly. And it's like you said, sometimes you fight with your fist, but the most important ones are in your mind. So you got to be, you got to be strong. And if you ain't, there's a lot of people just waiting for you to, you know, make you a victim. Mm -hmm. Appreciate what you have and fight for what you want. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. Thank you so much for talking to me today, Mike. Cool. I appreciate it. Mike of Suicidal Tendencies. Thank you, Bobby D. <laughs> Suicidal. ST. <laughs>